Hello everyone, this is Pal Ponder on Weather coming at you with another video. In this update, I'm going to be talking about our next tropical storm that looks to bring more trouble for the Caribbean and unfortunately, more flooding rains for the island of Jamaica. So before I do get started, if you do like weather related content, please subscribe to my channel as I will upload about five videos a week to keep you updated. And I do ask you to share this video with your friends and family on social media. So let's kind of delve into the details. Here's the overall outlook satellite picture of this morning. Uh, I put a video out earlier this morning for Hurricane Zeta. This is really getting its act together uh, over the Gulf of Mexico. It's expecting to intensify to landfall, possibly a 100 mile per hour uh, landfall hurricane in uh, New Orleans, and this will race off to the northeast and be off the east coast by Friday. But now let's take a look at the these two tropical waves out here in the main development region. There's one here by the islands, and here's another little feature down here to the south. Let's take a look at the big picture and how this is actually going to play out. Here's basically Zeta. It's racing off to the northeast. You have a low pressure setting up uh, off the northeast coast around Halloween, November 1st. And then to the south of that, you've got your Bermuda High. And then the tropical wave that I showed you, uh, underneath that Bermuda High, you also have a low pressure. That sets, that sets the stage for divergence underneath with that strong cold front that came in from the United States. What this would typically do is uh, lower, start to lower the pressures underneath with the temperature gradient and start to uh, create a low level, low, possibly low level spin over time, mixing in with that Central American gyra. So let's take a look at the bigger picture. Here's the Southern Oscillation Index, and this kind of is a leading indicator that I follow that it actually set the tone for Zeta. It was, uh, this indicator was positive. It actually went negative on uh, October the 14th. What this basically tells you is, is the Southern Oscillation is active. It's basically, it amplifies the Southern jet. So whenever you, it goes negative, then probably seven days or 10 days later, you could have some sort of lowering pressures um, underneath from the Southern Oscillation Index. And that's what created uh, Zeta. And then we actually went positive again. And then on the, the 25th, we went negative again. And this amplifies even this morning it went uh negative 14 and that's actually going to play a crucial role as we get into november as i'll show you here in a little bit with an amplified uh, active pattern and set it up in the tropics here's the overall uh vertical velocity index on the 200 millibar uh pretty much by you know halloween november 1st this is not that very far away this is you know four days away it really shows an amplified pattern setting up uh, again over the Caribbean. We basically got a negative two deviation. So that is a strong bullish signal that with that divergence taking place in that same general area of the Caribbean, we will start to see lowering pressures once again. And that remains fairly low getting all the way through uh, November the 11th. And let me just show you the, the next six to 10 days. Here's from basically November the 2nd through November the 7th. Where does it show the amplified upward rising motion air? Right in the Caribbean, basically right to the south of the island of Jamaica. And you can see this atmospheric river of moisture that's going to be funneling in in that region. And so as this divergent kicks in, as more thunderstorms start to congeal in that area, pressure start to drop, and then you have low level spin uh, on, created in this same general area. But you know, a storm or not, I mean, you're going to get a lot of rain in this area with this flow pattern uh, setting the stage over the next two or three weeks in that in that general area. And even by uh, the, the 16, the 11 to 16 time frame, this is November the 7th through November the 12th, it still shows this same general area in the Caribbean, right over the island of Jamaica into Cuba, having a very uh, upward rising motion wet setup uh, for thunderstorm development for to easily uh, develop in that region. 
And if we take a look at the actual model and why it shows why it does, we see by the fourth, this would be next Wednesday, a week away, it's having a fairly bullish signal from the latest EPS probability guidance of a tropical storm feature trying to get its act together in the Caribbean. It's got about a 60% chance as of currently uh, right now. But even before that, you're gonna be dealing with some extremely heavy rainfall even before a storm even develops in that region. If we take a look at the latest uh, GEFS ensemble member guidance, it kind of implies the same thing. We have lowering of pressures on the south side from that tropical wave that moves in. We got colder air that came through into the, into the Gulf, stopped right here essentially, and then have that divergence and you have the lower level spin and then created some sort of, uh, we're starting to get more members showing up and the ensemble member guidance and uh, possibly some sort of tropical development. And this is the third on Tuesday. Now let's take a look at the spaghetti models. It kind of implies the same thing. Even if we extend the outlook from the third through the sixth, it even has more members in this same general area of some sort of tropical development uh, coming out of this region again, dumping a lot of rain on the island of Jamaica into the into the Cayman Islands as well as into Cuba. So there's definitely more Caribbean trouble on the way for this region for the first week of November. And that looks to even possibly extend even in the second week of November as we're setting the stage for unfortunately another active pattern in the tropics. So now let's take a look at the overall water precipitation index. This kind of shows you where this cold front lies on Halloween. This by that time, Zeta would be moved offshore of the northeast. There's that colder air funneling in on the south side. Here's the tropical wave that we talked about coming in. Here's the atmospheric river of moisture. We're, we're looking at, uh, you know, two, three inch rainfall rates again in this area approaching the island of Jamaica. This would only be on Saturday. So we're only talking, uh, you know, four, four days from now. And so... You do have a little bit of a break in Jamaica, but I do think another active time frame is, is unfortunately going into your area. And I have a lot of new followers in Jamaica, so I'm going to put this out there to give you plenty of advanced warning uh, because by Sunday, we're talking uh, torrential rains possibly setting up over the island of Jamaica again with that tropical feature starting, starting to uh, form to the south of you. Here's by the fourth. This would be a week away next Wednesday. You can see a lot of the a lot of the uh, colors start to darken. So the reds. Now you get the purples. This is more intense rainfall, and so as more uh, chances of upward rising motion air gets conglomerated in that same general area, you have a better chance of something trying to develop out of this region. Uh, but before that, you're going to be hit with an, an, a, a lot of rainfall in this in this region. Unfortunately, this is only by the fourth. L let's take you through the eighth. We still have that the same general area of uh, you know. What, you know, water precipitation index anywhere from two to three inch rainfall rates. That was the that's the atmosphere what it's, what it's capable of producing uh, per hour. So, um, so this 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 is implying some sort of uh, tropical uh, storm uh, possibly coming out of this area in the first week of November. If that would have come to fruition, it would be named Tropical Storm Ada. Uh, but regardless of the development right now, you've got a lot of. Uh, uh, rainfall heading to heading into this region uh, by uh, Sunday again, and that by then Sunday on through the first week of November at least, you're going to be dealing with some a very heavy rainfall setting setting up over uh, Jamaica, over the Cayman Islands, and eventually this will get uh, possibly in, into Cuba, into the to the Yucatan again, and we'll see if there's some sort of uh, tropical development formed by then by the eighth. Of the month so i just wanted to give you a quick heads up on the potential next storm that could be coming out of the caribbean and definitely the flooding rains that could be setting up over the island of jamaica again unfortunately so i appreciate you guys watching please like this video uh, please leave your comments below and share with your friends on uh, social media so they give it get a heads up and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to catch me in the next video where i protect you before and after the storm